Right, this is the Poly N Tracker. Basically, what I'm calling an Amiga 1200 in a box. It's a tracker groove box. You can load samples into it, and it's got eight channels of sequencing here. First thing I've done, just wanted to show you quickly. This is just an aim in those chops. <laughs> And then you go to your pattern page and like the Amiga, you can put in pieces of that clip. Equally here, you can add different effects. So I've got reverses and rolls. Check this out. Right, so looking at the poly end, we've got the screen here, these pads at the bottom which can play the drums or the sounds, whatever you've got loaded in. These buttons apply to these options on the screen which can then be selected for whatever you need. And over here we've got the loading, the editing and the sequencing parts. The poly end can also be charged by a USB portable charger which is really useful for making beats on the go. So I've had this less than 24 hours and I've just made a few little tracks in it. Let's have a listen. <laughs> There's a couple of performance modes as well where you can drop tracks in and out if you want to play live. <laughs> so the tracker has granular synthesis or you can do things like this works really well with pads the sample editor has various effects as well that you can apply so you've got your cropping reverse uh, amplify delay bit crushing etc these are all destructive within the RAM, but you can audition them as they happen. But a great bunch of effects to apply to your samples. There's also the option to record in the poly end. You've got a line in for, like, say, a turntable. There's even a radio, which is great. So you can just scan through and then instantly sample it straight to the keys. I've got an example here. I just recorded, I think it was Capital or something at the top, and Genuine Pony was on. So then you can throw it straight in and put it into the granular like this. I mean, we all know that. It's great. You can just record stuff straight off the radio. And then all of a sudden you're making stabs and synth sounds that you didn't even know. Well, we're kind of there, so. Well useful. You can export your track as stems, which will save straight to the SD card. And then you can drop it into Ableton or Logic or whatever you need to do. Basically, this thing's fucking brilliant. And if you want to make jungle or you do a lot of chopping up breaks and chopping up beats, then it's not only dead good for it. It's just a lot of fun. As I say, these effects that you can add in here just really kind of like lend to just make crazy drum patterns. You can do rolls, you can do slices, volume, LFOs, even down to automating the granular kind of positions, which lends for some crazy sounds. I'm going to be making a lot of jungle on it and I must say shout out to Polyend every time. If you want one, go and check out their website. Anyway, lots more to come on Polyend Tracker in a bitsies.